coming to get you. Hi, everybody. Welcome to the Fear Central Podcast. I am Mike. Chris. Heather. Shaylin. Oh, man. Shaylin. Intro. <laughs> That's right, it? everybody. We have a new person Do joining us this week. You'll notice that Paul has transformed into a Shaylin. Yes, for tonight. For tonight. For this week. He's a girl Maybe now. Maybe next week, too, if she wants to. Yeah. Um, Paul is currently out of town. Yes. We miss you, Paul. So he's helping to bring another member back to us. Wendy. Wendy. So she will be here soon, permanently with us. Yes. Uh, so... Shailen is our youngest child, mine and Chris's. Um, um, our little baby. So she, she's grown up around all of this all her life. So she's here to kind of help bring in what this week's topic is, which is what we're calling gateway horror. And this would be the type of stuff that people that have never seen horror before that they watch and they get into horror after that, or stuff made for the younger generation that can introduce them into the creepy of it all and then get them interested to move on to bigger and bolder and scarier things. So, with no further ado, adieu, 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 adieu. <laughs> <laughs> let's do it. Let's do it. So, uh, let's start, let's start with what, what can be made or what has been put out for the younger generation. Because when I was younger, one thing that got me into it is Scooby Doo. Love me some Scooby Doo. Oh, yeah. Scooby Doo, you know. And of course, we can't make it super scary, so we have to reveal at the end of every episode that it's a real human. It's, it's a person. A it's monster. a mask. It's a mask. But yeah. they also, in Scooby Doo, had the ones like the Reluctant Werewolf, where they were actually monsters. Yeah. And then um, the. Scooby Doo meets the Boo Brothers, where there was ghosts. Yeah. And then the Adams Family. But yeah, they had the Adams Family and crossover. Yes. Yeah. yeah, they did. And the Harlem Globe Trotters, yeah. They did. Yeah. They did all of the all of the things. The they monkeys. Scooby Doo the... around with a lot of people. Yeah. Even before Star Trek. It's got like... into it because Scooby Doo met Batman. He met Dracula. He met. Yeah. Globe Trotters. He met all kinds of people. Vincent Price. Yeah, Thirteen Ghosts Tim of Scooby Doo. Yeah, yeah. There was all kinds of. Don Knotts sp- was on there, I think, on one of them. He's been on several. Yeah, yeah. And so, then later on, Supernatural did a crossover with Scooby Doo too. Oh yeah, they did do that. You'll you'll get to that one, Heather, when you get to the season thirteen. There's okay. Scooby-Doo it's so funny. Crossover. Awesome. So okay, really cool. I know you grew up with us in the horror genre. But yes. What made you, what did you watch growing up other than that, that made you like horror? That's kind of hard. Because I grew up on watching the old 80s horror movies. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we, she, uh, well, so I can't and really say. Children, it was just kind of like, it was on and they would sneak in to watch us watching this it without us knowing. true, but yeah. I mean, we also gave them, you know, expression, just kind of rain to watch what they wanted to and a lot of kids if they grew up in the industry around this kind of business they tend to not like it so I think when I was growing up I didn't have a whole heart for it because I grew up in it so it was kind of like normal to me but now you but like later on like I think definitely after watching Stranger Things is when I really got into it Especially yeah. that first season. Because that's another good gateway one. That's oh, yeah. A TV series, oh, yeah. She grew up watching Doctor Who, too, so that could be kind of a gateway. But <clears throat> it was really scary horror, about. but it was kind of scary. I don't, I don't think Doctor Who was really in... I think the only the part... The part Yeah, I was going to say the only part of Doctor Who that would really count as, like, horror would be... The Weeping Angels. Cemetery Angels are scary, really? The rest of it was um, basically all sci-fi. Goofy yeah. sci-fi. Yeah. Well, you also... Oh. And, until you got to the... The thir- cat people, those were goofy. Okay. Well, until you got to the 11th Doctor. Yes. And upside down trash cans that just go exterminate. Daleks. Um, um, but you also watched, growing up, like Disney's Gargoyles. I watched Gargoyles, um, Scooby-Doo... 
Monster High. I wouldn't call Monster High really horror or like but getting well, yeah, into horror. Yeah, because it's based on, all based, well, it's on, based on all monsters and stuff. I just, for me personally, I wouldn't think it's like an introduction into like getting someone into horror. Why? Why? I, because it's the daughter of Frankenstein, it's the daughter of Dracula, it's the daughter of all of these, and I mean, you're yeah, watching it, and then the you get older, don't. and you're like, oh, well, maybe I want to watch a Dracula movie. Yeah. Like, maybe I want to watch something a little scarier. I think it was just me that, like, didn't find it. You're a weirdo. But again, you grew up Thank in a you. house hey. full of it, so. She is my demon. Hey, I take that as a compliment. Doesn't mean she's not a weirdo. <laughs> <laughs> I, I never said mine wasn't. <laughs> hey, if you're not weird, you're boring. There you go. There you go. So. But again, she grew up in our, in our house, so I mean, it's like, oh yeah, Monster High, whatever, sure. Yeah. 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 So Heather, what was your gateway? Um, well, I just kind of got thrown into it. So like, I think my, my original was Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Yeah. You know, and then it was just, I was hooked from there. Right. You know, so like I didn't start with like, I mean, I watched Scooby-Doo and all that, but that never really wanted me, made me want to watch a horror movie then like my dad was just like let's watch our horror movies so we did and he scared the shit out of me and i loved it ever since <laughs> just i think that's how krista got into it you know but but well, that's because krista used to come out when we lived in a certain house and the sofa faced away from the hallway so she would sneak out and come and hide behind the sofa and watch what we were watching because we couldn't see her behind us yeah. i think that and probably when i had the four foot barbie doll and i moved it around the house that oh, was really that, funny sure, yeah but um no but but now kids have things like i mean in in the 90s we had like all real monsters and yeah. courage yeah. and uh cursed cowardly dog and all of those kinds of things that got kids more into growing yeah. up creepy and mm -hmm. that's the one i was trying to think of from discovery oh yes. yeah cursed yeah cowardly dog? Mm, yeah but there was also a, a series called growing up creepy hmm. yeah yeah, where her mom your was sisters used to watch mantis. all the time with Tuttenstein and yep. Kenny the Shark and yeah. all those other Discovery ones. Yeah, but you have the TV shows that are like that, with you know, like the Scooby Doo's and the All Real Monsters, and you've got the older ones that kind of got you know people into it, yeah. and then you have newer ones like Gravity Falls mm -hmm. that is all mystery and and creatures and. All of that. But you have you had Coraline. Coraline, but those are movies, right? So if you're moving into the movies, you've got Coraline and Monster Corpse Bride Squad. and Monster Squad and, mm -hmm. and how um, Frank and Weenie and um, all the Tim Burtons, anything Tim Burton, Paranorman, Paranorman, all of that. Um, then you have Halloween Town. The Halloween. the more mild one, Halloween Town, all. All, basically all the Four Halloween Disney movies. Yeah. But then you have little kid horror. Like, when Charlie was really little, he loved Spookly the spare, Square Pumpkin. Yeah. You know, and it was this cute little square pumpkin that got into trouble, but he loved I've Spookly. I've seen that. I'll have to go look that You've up. never seen no. Spookly the Square Pumpkin? Oh, my God, oh, it's, it's great. It's so cute. It's great. And then they have a little... I don't remember the name of it, but there's like a little vampire girl. It's like on one of the Disney channels, like a I think it's Disney Junior Vampirina or something. Or something like that. Vampirina, yeah. A little so vampire girl and, you know. You also had your live action series because she grew up with like My Babysitter's a Vampire or something yeah. like that. Yeah. And that's yeah. what it was? My Babysitter's a Vampire? Yeah. Yeah. Because yeah. Yeah. Ashley used to watch that one too. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah, she Because there was a movie and a series. Yeah. The only part about that was you had to watch the movie and understand the series. Oh, but for but for me, like a lot of these movies are movies that I want to watch every year. Halloween <coughs> Town, I watch every single year. Hocus oh, Pocus, I every think, year. I think everybody has that list. You know, that and and they're like list. silly. In the majority of them are silly. They're not. They're, we're not talking like full on horror movies. We're talking like Halloween Town and Hocus yeah. Pocus and Corpse Bride and you know all the little ones that you that aren't scary anymore. But you still. Watch. But you still just love. Yeah. yeah. And, you know, and as Halloween gets closer, we'll move into the episode of doing our our, our, our Halloween movie list. Yes, yes. We'll talk about those. Right. Um, you were talking about in the 90s, some of the live action ones, 
that were mm-hmm. designed to get people. You had the goosebumps. The series. goosebumps. That Erie, oh yeah, Indiana. Erie, Indiana. Yeah. Um, did they have a, the, a Fish Street series? I can't remember. I don't remember either. I only knew about um, the Goosebumps series because I grew up on that. Scary Indiana was that one. Erie, Indiana. Yeah. Erie, Indiana. Yeah, that was one. Nickelodeon had two or three of them. Oh yeah. I think uh, now, like Tales going. From the dark or... I think now going into it, if you're like, probably a lot younger than I am, mm-hmm. and you're watching Nickelodeon, or Cartoon Network or something like that. Ben Ten, their newest one, they've actually made it a little more, a more kid friendly, but a lot more creepy. Did they? Yeah, yeah, they added like a bunch of like scary episodes, hmm. and the old Ben Ten series did have those, but those were, those were more like yeah. Things used to come out with Halloween episodes. Oh yeah, you know you you you'd get a Halloween CSI, you'd get a Halloween you know uh, everything. I mean, even the the uh, Simpsons. You got you always yeah, get a, 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 a how what is it tree horse or, treehouse of horrors yeah. and. I think it was really funny that Stranger Things is an entire show that's basically like all creepy stuff, but they still have episodes that are dedicated just to Halloween. Yep. Yeah. yeah. Especially in season two. Yeah. That, of course. You every, always every have show to have, used that to have a, Halloween, a Halloween episode. episode. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You know, NCIS had some. Oh, yeah. You know, um, all, all the 30 minute sitcoms, they would have an episode. You know, Family Matters, they, they would have an episode for Halloween. Mm hmm. Fitful House, yeah, you know all the the TGIF shows all oh, yeah, had definitely. all had the uh, their spooky version. their spooky shows. I know that all the criminal shows like NCIS, Criminal Minds, Numbers, yeah. stuff like that. They all had that yeah. like a couple episodes just well, dedicated to Halloween. The 80s, it was every series pretty yeah. much had oh yeah a Halloween episode right around the time of Halloween. So, what was your guys's to this day your favorite gateway horror? I don't know. I'm kind of like her. I kind of, uh, you know, I watched Scooby Doo and all, but I, my first real horror movie was Halloween when I was like nine years old. Right. You know. But and we were. <laughs> it's one of those things where, like, in my case, you know, Charlie is. He's always watched the the spookier things. Like yeah. he's he's always watched, you know, the. Halloween Towns and right. you know the uh, Invader Zim and well, see, and he's pretty much grown up. Well, yeah, but I mean, but when it came to horror movies, when he was getting to the age where you kind of like, okay, well, let's see if we can we can probably watch Halloween or you know something like that. Um, but he was still afraid, yeah. you know, but. Luckily, we have this fantastic friend who's a makeup artist who decided that she would just turn him into all the things he was scared of so that he could see that it was just makeup and prosthetics and masks. Yeah. I don't know who that could be. I don't know. I, just, I don't have know. no idea. No idea who that might be. <laughs> Probably blows my mind on yeah, I, <laughs> But, uh, so, you know, Chris kind of got him over his fear, and then he would watch him with us. Now, he always... He's he's always had this thing, even to this day, and he's 16, where if there's, like, a nude scene, he closes his eyes or he turns his head. <laughs> but I think it's because he's embarrassed to watch them with his mom. You know? I like, pretty much... Can't look at boobs with my I'm mom. I'm sorry. Yeah. That's just... I think, yeah. No, you know, I, I think I that's what it is. That. But like, you know what I mean? It's like, oh, my God, there's this thing. Yeah, like, I, I can watch, like, like something like that. Maybe through with... fingers open or whatever. I mean, because you can't, there's not norm, There's not a lot of horror movies that don't have some sort of nudity right. of some the sort in silence. it. I mean, you know, the newer ones, but... I can watch right. something like that with my mom, but my dad, no. I, I'm not going to watch something like that with you. <laughs> N- well, not... and, you know, we raised you girls a different way. You know that nine times out of ten, what's going on in that scene is not what's actually being done behind the movies. Right. I think it's just and the scenario. It, it's yes, yeah, it's, it's also the scenario too. Sometimes you know, if it's too graphic or too violent, even I don't watch it. I fast forward the shit. Yeah. I mean, well, and and the other thing is Charlie was he 
he, we really hadn't allowed him really to watch like any like certain certain movies right. and we happened to be at a friend's for a barbecue or something and I come in and all the kids of all ages are all watching Resident Evil Resident and Evil? mine is sitting there yeah is sitting there just glued to the TV well then he came home that night he was scared <laughs> Yeah. You know, so then I had Chris the next day turn him into a zombie. Yeah, you know, yeah. and you that know, was right but around the time we were doing the zombie run too. It was. It, so was. it was perfect timing. Uh-huh. But um so but I I don't know. I've always I've always kind of let him kind of have free reign of what he watches. Now, to an extent. You know, I mean, we're not watching porn. It's not that's not okay. But yeah, no. um you know, if he says, "Hey mom, I really want to see this movie." Can we go see this movie? I'll look. Unlike some people who are like, hey, mom, can we go see this movie? Sure, we'll go see this movie. It's called Deadpool. It can't be bad. It's a superhero movie. (laughs) Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And you're in there, and then the first five minutes, you're like, oh, my God. I can't believe I brought my child to see this movie. Okay, so let me ask you. Look it up. Be an informed parent. It is a funny movie. Do you even sometimes go watch the movie before you let him do it, even now? I do sometimes, yeah. yeah. See, I find myself doing that, too. Yeah, I do sometimes. But then there's sometimes where he's like, hey, Mom, let's go watch this movie. Like, he wanted, when World War Z came out, he wanted to go see it. Mm -hmm. Well, we didn't make it all the way through the movie. He got scared. Um, we made it about halfway through and he got scared which is fun I mean those zombies are crazy because they're fast and it's weird but um wasn't that the one with the rage virus no 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 no. that one was 28 days later yeah okay um but this one had uh, Brad Pitt yeah but they like it wasn't they had a, a high virus. mentality, it, it was, though. It was they, a virus. It was a virus, but it was... It, they had a hive mentality, but they were fast zombies. There you go. Yeah. Yeah. So, like, okay. they weren't like your normal, like, slow, slow walkers. They yeah. weren't walkers. Yeah. They were runners. But... So, we made it about halfway through the movie, and he just... He couldn't take it. And so, we left. <clears throat> and then... A couple of, I guess, when it came out on video, he's like, Mom, I think I want to try to watch it again. And I'm like, okay, let's watch it. But we watched it at home with lights on, you know, and we got all the way through it. He's like, Mom, I don't know why I made you leave. We, it, this wasn't that scary. And I'm like, well, you know, I mean, that's I, okay. I can't say much. The one movie I still will not watch is Life. I will never watch that movie. <laughs> I got like 10 minutes in and I couldn't handle it. Yeah, she's actually... <laughs> it wasn't, you know, it wasn't the fact of me being scared it was me being disgusted yeah it was yeah. just no it was with, the Ryan okay Reynolds so kill. let me ask you something was there ever a movie that you really wanted to see that was a horror movie that i didn't let you see i can't remember any movies but i remember a show and i still haven't been able to watch it which one and i'm 17 which one american horror story no i'm 17 krista got to watch it when she was 16 <laughs> we're gonna actually have this debate no <laughs> That's not a debate. That's that's you saying no. That's you saying no. <clears throat> which okay. To be fair, which season? There are some parts of, of the it. seasons that you're. Charlie has watched some with me, um, but there is a whole whole lot of adult scenarios in those American Horror Stories. Murder House has a lot. Murder House which has a lot. Season. Hotel has a lot. Um, I was going to say it can't be as Asylum, bad as Asylum, the... not so much. No. They have a little bit, but not like a yeah. whole, whole bunch. Uh, um, Freak Show. Freak Show had a had little bit. A little bit. Um, Roanoke didn't really have any. Didn't have any, yeah. Um, Coven. Had some. Some. Very little. Um, you know, and then the It's like as cult. the season's progress cult didn't they get more have cult? as they get a it didn't have a lot yeah like i don't it had the, a little bit but that it was the political season that was the political yeah. season and then was apocalypse which had a little bit and then 1984 which was based like an 80s right. so it had it had a, a bit yeah and well, then this new one hasn't had any right. the same thing so, with the, the new um, netflix trilogy fear street didn't really have a whole lot of you know sexually conducted stuff i mean it's designed for the teenagers right i think you watched one of the episodes with us didn't you of um fear street uh-uh. no wasn't that the series yeah movies? The, three, the one where it starts present day and goes backwards oh yeah i've been meaning to watch that yeah 
I just haven't gotten to the time to do it. So. I think another show that would be a good gateway into horror would be, um, shoot, it was just in my head. Did you forget it already? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You'll get to it. You'll remember. What was it? But there's, know. but there's a lot of also. I mean, not just the cartoon ones, and and, and we're forgetting Hotel Transylvania oh, and yeah. you know all of those kinds of movies. But then there's also the ones that are bad B movies. Yeah. That kind of get you in Killer Clowns from Outer Abbott Space, and Costello meet. Abbott and Costello meet the whoever Wolfman, the Wolfman, Frankenstein, Frankenstein Dracula, the Invisible Man, yeah. Dracula, yeah. They, Tomato, Attack, Attack of the, the Killer Tomato, Tomato. The Blob, that was a good one. The Blob, you the know, blob. you oh, know. Okay. There's the a original, lot of not the remake. No, the remake was no. not as funny. No, it I was not. I on the remake. I love it. But noises. You okay, Demon dog. <laughs> okay then. But um, but you know all those the the movies that were always the ones that were like, oh, that movie is so bad are always the ones that I gravitate to. Yeah. Like they're all it's always been that way. Like I always want to watch the bad horror movies. Like oh, yeah. I I mean, I would love to see a great horror movie. Mm-hmm. Don't get me wrong. But <laughs> Snow Shark. I was gonna say except for Snow Shark. That's yeah. <laughs> but you know all when the Sharknados. You're, when you're flipping through and you're going we had oh, Sharknado parties. We did have Sharknado parties. I think everybody did. I don't know about everybody, but we had props if and not, food, and I don't know, but because we're it's we're a different fun. breed. We are a different. We breed. are a different breed of people. Yep. I know. We're we, the cool kids. Yeah. <laughs> but but there are ones that are good ones to introduce you into it. That if you if you say say like you're in your early twenties or mid twenties or whatever, you've never seen a horror movie. There are ones that you can go out and get that's not super scary. Um, but they may get you hooked and go, well, if that's that good, how good is like all the others? You know, like, um, trick yeah. or treat, trick or treat, the Halloween, Halloween. That was a good one. um, the it movies, <laughs> it the the mini series, yeah. it yeah, kind of that's you know, that's anything Stephen King did, did on 13. TV, yeah, you know. St- yeah, anything, all the Stephen Kings that were on TV, yeah, um, like, um, were good, Rose Rose gateway Red. into it, Rose Red, and Dude, I think that was your favorite movie, Dan. Didn't they do one? Yeah, the stand. Oh, yes. The stand. Yes. Um, Very sweet. Some Molly Ringwald. Yeah. Rob Lowe. Yeah. I know they did The Shining. And M O O N that spells Tom everything. Collins. <laughs> M O O N that spells Tom Collins. I think now, like, especially for a lot of kids who are probably like maybe ten or eleven who are really watching YouTube, mm-hmm. I think a lot of it would be like, uh, you. YouTubers who do gaming, because they play a lot of horror games. Oh, what's that one guy that we like? Dazzer. Daz Games. Yes. Yeah. I Daz. watch Daz. Um, watch the, Jacksepticeye, you, uh, PewDiePie. Street. That's Jacksepticeye. Uh, Jacksepticeye, PewDiePie, Markiplier. Basically, all the mainstream ones. Yeah. See, all, all of the mainstream ones. Out of all of them, I li- I don't know. I like Daz. <laughs> hilarious maybe it's because he's i think now the main the main ones for mainstream would be like the more popular ones like Mm -hmm. pewdiepie some people have been doing it for like 12 or more years because jacksepticeye just hit like 13 years of doing youtube yeah so let me ask you something when your friends are with you or when you have like a new friend what is your go-to horror movie that you're just like have you ever watched this horror movie? Or, you know, you're not into the horror movies. Let me show you something that you might like. I can't watch horror movies with my friends. They get scared. Like, like very easily. <laughs> like, we watch the old It, like the original It, right. and I got scared, and I'm just sitting here like, what? That's really, that's really funny. Yes, this week, I, we were out and I had to go to the bathroom, and I always avo- avoid the stalls with the floor drains. And <laughs> and uh, I really, like, I had to go. So I just walked in the stall, and I sat down to do my business. And I looked down, and I go, fuck, because there was a floor drain in the stall. So, of course, I had to take a picture of it and send it to my friends, because I'm like, damn it. I'm not working I had to that. pick the stall with the floor drain. Yes. <sighs> like... 
my best friend Kai mm-hmm. can't watch horror movies with her. But she every she, time she comes over, she's yeah. like, Let's watch a horror movie. Yeah, one that's tame. I tried watching. Did we um, own a tame one? I tried watching The Conjuring with her, um, and I we didn't even make it past ten minutes. And she was already scared. Uh, yeah. We had to. We have one red. Oh yeah, we she did. didn't watch Constantine, it. Constantine, that's pretty tame. Yeah. The main the main one we watched was the ones that she had been hearing all of us talking about was the oh, It movie, the yeah. newest one, like the newest series. You started her on that? No, she she got started on like the eighty stuff, but oh, she, Lord. you know, like me, she kind of passed out through half of it. <laughs> so. Yeah, according to our daughter, eighties horror is boring. Well, I mean, compared to, like, now... The Where everything is CGI'd Everything CGI, everything, like, you just can't expect anything well, in it. definitely could have, couldn't make what we watched last night today. <laughs> What'd you... What? We watched Sleepaway Camp mm-hmm. last night. Oh, my goodness. Oh, Lord. I don't know. She it was full that of pedophilia. It was... Ped- there was a pedophile, and and he got burned hey, alive. And those are the real monsters. It is yeah, true. Yeah, that's very true. And there was, like... Mean Girls and Super Secret Surprise Super at the end. Super Secret Surprise at the end that you're not <laughs> expecting. <laughs> it was so hard not to tell you. I wanted to so many times and it almost slipped out but, when we were well, watching but I, it. But, okay, so what I'm watching and I'm thinking, okay, wait a minute. Something is not right. I bet that's the sun and not... Yeah. And, and it when we got to the end, it was like... There it is. There it is. Hello. Why did you have to show it? Because now I feel like I need to scrub my eyeballs. <laughs> <laughs> and yet women are always complaining. There are a couple. Okay, women have to go topless, but men never show anything. There were a couple um, horror movies that I went to go watch well, with Devin. Mm-hmm. He introduced me to this one. It's about a um, old toy factory. or like It's kind of like a place like Five Nights at Freddy's. Where it's like a birthday place, mm-hmm. and it has animatronics. Yeah, we watched Willy's that one. Willy's Wonderland. Willy's, Willy's Wonderland. Wonderland. Yes, he showed me that one, and I was that very is the confused. the cagiest cage movie without a cage phrase. I, I was very confused on him being Fantastic. in it, and then it was me, Curtis, Devin, and Kai, mm-hmm. main, most of my best friends. We sat down. We started to watch it. Devin and Curtis had already seen this. Kai and I didn't know what was going to happen. But we knew it was kind of like Five Nights at Freddy's, you know? Right. Animatronics, trying to kill you, kind of going around. We did not expect for him to just full-on beat them to death. But not say a word. Exactly. Dude. He stinks quiet throughout the entire he film. Says not one word. So, not like, one single word. When you're watching it, who are you rooting for? Are you rooting on him or are you rooting on the animatronics? Is that a question? Yeah. You're rooting for the KG? Yeah, I'm rooting for Cage. Okay. Okay. She's my daughter. <laughs> I honestly, with oh, that wait. type of movie. His watch went off. Got to take a break. I don't care if I'm killing an animatronic right now. <laughs> right, yeah, take a break. Don't you care if an animatronic's killing Gotta someone. Have those breaks. Gotta have that break. Gotta have a break. Gotta drink the soda. Machine. Gotta yep. play the pin pump machine. Gotta drink my soda. That we're good. <laughs> Got that caffeine fix, man. I, I think <laughs> in that, I wasn't expecting something like that because normally whenever they have someone that's like big and strong they make him like super weak uh-huh. so i was expecting him to like be super weak and not do anything i wasn't expecting him to like destroy <laughs> them <laughs> throw down mm-hmm. he threw it he went down for real oh yeah but mm-hmm. mm-hmm. you know that could also be kind of gateway because there's not it was very not funny a whole lot of spookiness in it but not a, lot, a whole lot of scare I think the most most of it is just like the jump scares. Yeah, I mean, there's a few which of is those. just like the games. Yeah, which the games are super fun. Oh yeah. Especially I if you. When you didn't think they were super fun. Oh no. Like especially if you get into the newer games because you have the first four and then you have Sister Location. Sister Location is still connected to it. It's just the game plays a little different and the story is a little different. Yeah. Sister Location is probably my favorite one out of all of them because. It actually has you interacting with it. It doesn't have you just sit in an office. You get to go around, you get to fix the animatronics, you get to fix the stages, all that other type of stuff. It's so fun. So, so fun. So, so fun. 
I think that was another thing that got me into horror was probably the horror games because them coming out now there's a lot of more of a scare factor to it you know you got the survival horror games you got the um, first person first persons yeah a bunch of those different types of ones there's even team ones like the Friday the 13th game yeah. or yeah. Dead by Daylight mm-hmm. and stuff like that I think that's very cool that people did was you can switch between being the, the killer the and being the survivor the ring goat which one? The Little Girl in the Rinko. What was that game? Little Nightmares? Yeah, that one. I, I like that game. I just don't... I can't handle the gameplay. I don't like the side-to-side. Yeah, I know. And then there was all the giant things after her. Ooh. That was crazy. I did watch Jack Subdekai play it, though, and it it's really cool. He also played the second one. Yeah. The, the graphics in it are amazing. Oh, yeah. Ooh, everybody just got quiet all of a sudden. Yeah. Yep. Wow. Didn't happen very often. No, I'm no. telling you. I was like, did I go up and get a drink? <laughs> Nobody knows how to talk. <laughs> but yeah, things that uh, things that get you into horror. Um, I worked at Hastings for a little while. Mm-hmm. And if you don't know what Hastings is, it was a store that was kind of like books and movies and music and everything all in one location. Basically, it's just like a Walmart, but better. Yeah, kind of like early Amazon, but in physical form. Um, and I had a couple come in, and they were like, we're looking for something scary, but we've never really watched anything scary before. What would you recommend that's going to be really jolting? And, of course, my first thought was Alien. Mm-hmm. Alien to get you. That's a really good one. And I was like, well, let's see if we can, let's see if we can get you some Alien. They're like, okay, we'll try that. I was like, I do have to warn you, it's a little older. So some of the stuff you may be like, oh, that's ancient stuff. But trust me on this one. And for some reason, Hastings had it in the sci-fi area, not the horror area. They probably had it in the sci-fi area because it was more involved around space and it's doing it's all that different type of stuff. Because mostly, I never saw them again, so I couldn't ask them, did you get scared? Right. Because that one was like, you know, Jaws. What shark? I don't see no shark. Oh shit, what the hell's eating me? I right. remember when you tried getting me to watch Alien. And you then fell I, asleep. And then I fell asleep. Yep. The fell first asleep. half of it was We've great. Tried multiple times to get you so, watching, you fall so, asleep. Okay, so the first time Charlie ever watched, um, was it Texas Chainsaw Massacre? Mm-hmm. I think so. We watched it, and then we watched the re-release, the, mm-hmm. the where they cleaned it up, and he goes, yeah. and he okay. was like, Mom where's the grit yep like it needs that to be oh, what it, needs it that dirtiness it needs the dirt to be the movie that it's supposed to be it yeah. needs that grit you can't clean up that kind of movie it's yeah. like if you like high def halloween yeah you want you want the in the shadows and that was part of the creepiness is that you didn't know where he was he right. was all over the place and I will say, though, that the Blu-ray release of the original Friday 13th looks really good, nice and cleaned up. They didn't change into the shadowing or right. any of that. It was just nice and, and crisp. Crisp, yeah. But but the thing is, is that Halloween and Texas Chainsaw Massacre don't need to be crisp. No, you Especially know that's Texas Chainsaw. Oh, no, it needs to have the grit, the grit. and be the... The, the dirty looking yeah. I mean because it's that's part of make it exactly be like this dirty little movie that yeah you know you're like oh I got a shower I yeah. think that's also the same with the Halloween movies yeah that that's with Michael Myers right yes yes yeah because you know he's coming out of like the darkness all, like all yeah. the time he comes out from like closets and stuff like that you can't really yeah. have that scare factor without it being dark but then the newer ones are phenomenal Oh yeah. yeah, they didn't Being really clean and crisp in 4K and yeah, but they kept it very dark and yeah. shadowy. Which you know, was there wasn't that they a needed. lot of Which, again the new ones coming soon. I'm so yes. ready. Yes. And what do we get? Two more Halloween Supposed kills. To be two more Halloween based on this final rendition. Yeah, something like th- something like that. We I get think two that more. The, the, this area is also supposed to be the true demise of Laurie Strode. Yeah. I think a horror movie that you could watch without it being like all slasher would be probably like a a quiet place or bird box don't listen or something what is it? don't listen don't speak don't speak because it 
especially a quiet place, it's completely silent. Yeah. There are like maybe one or two parts that has noise. Yeah. Unfortunately, I didn't get to see either one of those in the theater, and I would have loved to see how quiet the audience tried to keep right. with the way the movie was going. Devin said he went to go watch it in the theaters, and it was completely silent. Like hair pin drop. We were going to, but somebody else wanted to watch Truth or Dare. Yeah. <laughs> <sighs> no, Ashlyn. Oh. Teenagers. <laughs> truth or Dare? I love how you pointed dare. to me, and it wasn't me. <laughs> the, the, the theater had Truth or Dare in a quiet place at the same time. And they wanted to go watch it. Truth or dare. Why didn't you just let her go watch Truth or Dare with... Because she was with her boy. Oh, then never mind. Chapter Gotta watch me. that. Yeah. yeah. And when you get to watch a movie, you like to see touch her. You right. I want Truth or Dare all over you if you don't stop. <laughs> yeah. This is, this is why whenever I go to the movies and it's with my boyfriend, we have like double dates. So we just go there to actually watch the movie. Like we're gonna go. I don't watch understand Shang-Chi. why you go to the movies and you pay like twelve dollars a person plus sixty dollars in concessions, right? It's a lot and to than not that. watch the movie. It is. Yeah, here. there's no point. It is here. It's it's not that much that cheap in the city. Oh yeah, no. if you go to um, Granbury, it's like super expensive. Same with Austin. Oh yeah, I love our child. Our child. I mean, no, we ain't having none of that. We're gonna watch the horror movie. Leave me yeah, alone. Yeah, right. Our eight dollars a ticket. People in the city are like, I wish. Right. Like we're we're gonna go watch Shang Chi today. We could even get popcorn for eight dollars. And then right. we also went to go watch Free Guy with a couple of friends. It was a great movie. Ah, don't spoil it. I recommend watching it. <laughs> but. Yeah. Or that you got things that got you into the horror. Um, the house with the clock in the walls. Oh, yeah. Yes. That was a good one. I that think even one. Eli Roth said he created it specifically to get the younger generation interested in horror. Mm-hmm. Which we watched that twice. Yeah. Um, you know, the new Goosebumps movies. Yeah, yep. with Jack Black. Jack oh Black. Oh, my gosh. Love Jack Black in those movies. When I first it's saw slappy. the trailer, I was like, they're yeah. going to screw this so much. This is my childhood being wrecked all over again. But they did an amazing job. They did an job. amazing job. Yeah. Didn't they make two? Yes. yes. Yeah, there's two of them. Oh, yeah. I, I think I heard that so, they're thinking about making a third, a third one. one. So another girlfriend and I took the kids to see, I can't remember if it was the first or the second one. We're in the theater, and there's this gentleman. He was maybe mid-20s by himself watching this movie and he had the worst laugh and he laughed the entire movie and julie and i were like oh my god is he gonna not can he can he just not can he just stop please it's it was it was distracting you know and you go to the movies to see the movie you don't want to go to hear other people you know i don't know about that miss oh he's so sexy Oh. Yeah, but she like and says it in a quiet way. No, she didn't. Oh no! I didn't. <laughs> what, what, what so we went and saw Sinister Two, two, two. in the theater. Oh. You and your broken chair. Okay. And so we ate, and we got there. Well, the, the it just happened to be that was in the smallest theater, and it was packed. So we ended up sitting in the very back row, and there was the three seats, and the seat I was in was broken. So I sat down way lower, and I'm short anyway, so it put me down even lower, so I could just barely see over the seat in front of me, right? Well, there's one part where Bagul, his face flashes across the scene, and it was super quiet in there. And I burst out with, ooh, he's sexy! And everybody turned and looked at your mom, because they thought she said it, because they couldn't see me. She would say that, though. Well, (laughs) and Chris was like, (gasps) She's right, I would. However, she's also neglecting the fact I was exhausted from working that day, so I was... I, she was very caught off guard I by that, and everybody guard. was looking at her, and, and then when we leave like, the theater, like, everybody's, like, looking at her like, what is Yeah, it was what? the aftermath of the it was onslaught fantastic. of looks that was not exactly funny. It, it, it gave me so that much happened, laughter. That happened during Free Guy. Yeah. There was, it wasn't, it was in our friend group. It wasn't even me. It was Curtis. Ryan Reynolds walks across ah, the screen. Yeah, spoilers. He just walks across the screen. He's also the main character, so he's going to do it a lot. Yeah. He walks across the screen, and Curtis is like, that man is so fine. I was like, and you say you're straight. <laughs> I don't understand that. What? How, like, evidently Ryan Reynolds is every straight guy's man. Because... I don't know. 
I don't think of him that way. I, mean, I think um, he looks pretty one fine. One of the kids shows I forgot about, Are You Afraid of the Dark? Oh, yes. Oh, yeah. I love the Are You Afraid of the Dark. That's the one I was thinking of with the match. Yes, the match, yes, the the match, match with, the with the hand, and it was like the... Oh, that I was don't good. think any of y'all saw this, but it was on Netflix for a while, and it was by R.L. R. Stein. It was, um, it was kind of like Goosebumps. It was called Haunting Hour. Yes. Yep. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It was a great show. I think, I think my favorite part, my favorite episodes in the show were the first two episodes, because it was about a doll. It was so great. They don't have it on there anymore, though. Mm-hmm. Kind of disappointing. I went to go find it, and they didn't have it. There's one that a lot of people don't know. Your mom happened to know when I brought it up, but on Cartoon Network, they had one, and it was Scary Godmother, and they actually made two of them. Scary Godmother she knows and Joe. She um, when she was a kid. Yes. I do know All what that of is. the kids I, got to see it. There was two of them, and I absolutely. It was silly and it was goofy, but it was and it was horrible animation. Oh yeah. But it was fantastic. All of the kids have you seen know. it at least once. Oh they yeah. Pre- I don't think my older two remember seeing it, but yes, we did watch oh, it. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. It was awesome i've actually found it i've got to or- i want to order it i found it on amazon i really want to order the the dvds or blu-rays of it just to have it i think a lot a lot of kids now are watching this because of the musical that came out mm-hmm. beetlejuice oh yeah. yeah they're coming out with a musical version for the movie like they're coming out um a movie of the musical version because um they took it off broadway because of covid yeah. You know, they couldn't do the show anymore. And then they just didn't go back into it. And it well, was doing so well. They also did an Adams Family musical, too, which was really good with Nathan Lean in it. Well, and and part of the thing is, is that for for a long time it was ABC Family, and now it's Freeform. Yes. They do their 31 Nights of Halloween. Oh, yes. yes. And that is it. I mean, that was always a big deal for me and Charlie. We would, like plan our days around what was coming on. I remember yeah, calling you going, okay, what's on tonight? The, yeah. They did more of the family-friendly intro into... Oh, yeah, and yeah. They, they've they released this year's... Um, uh, list? The the list for it this year. And... Um, hold on, let me see if I can find it. Speaking of, I know another one. Phantom oh. of the Opera. Yeah. I didn't watch it. I mean, even Disney gets you into it with, you know, like, the hunchback of, of Notre Dame. Because he was kind of creepy. So, and, and, you know, these are family channels. Yeah. You know. And so they're playing Adam's Family and Hocus Pocus and the, the, the Monsters, Inc. Yep. And Monsters University and Fright Night. They've got a new one. They're, this is the pre, that's their premiere. They've never shown Fright Night before. Really? Yeah. So they've got Fright and Shrek and... The treehouse is a horror. I don't know how and Shrek would fit into horror. Eh. Well, I think most of it is because, like, whenever they go to, like, like whenever the people from the kingdom go to him, he's scaring them. Like, a lot. Okay, well, I can see that. And Casper and... Casper's a good one. I love know, Casper. Uh, yeah, you used to really watch Casper and Wendy all the time. Mm-hmm. The Craft. Yes, that yeah. was a good. Too, the yeah. ones that, the ones that you were as a teenager, you're going, man, I really want to see this movie. And a lot of times, your parents were like, no, that's a horror movie. You can't watch that movie. And then you go to a friend's, but then you go, but then you go with a friend, and they're like, your, their moms are like, hey, yeah, y'all can, I don't, I don't care what you're watching. Go ahead, go watch something. And y'all can you watch, watch it in it. the theater. I'll be in this theater. Meet me right here. Right. After you're done. Uh, we. That's what um, Kai and I did, did a lot. We did that. Um, a friend of mine and myself. I was 18. She was not, so her mom had to actually go and buy her ticket to watch Blair Witch Project. <laughs> I heard that's a good movie. It's eh. creepy as shit. It'll get you. I can't wait for I can't wait for you to I can't fa- wait for you to see it. Maybe that's what we'll do. On and it's one. black and white. You don't have to worry about color. No. That's not funny, man. It's not black and white. <laughs> Part of it is. Look, I already got made fun of last night for it. <laughs> I'm just saying, you don't have to worry about that. Oh, yeah, if you didn't know, I'm colorblind. Don't know if they know that. everybody in America knows you're colorblind. Oh, yeah. What, are they going to look me up on Instagram or something? I used to love all real monsters, though. Loved all real monsters. So if you're unfamiliar with it, it was a cartoon back in the 90s. Um, 
They, I think that's probably where they came up with the idea for Monsters Inc. or whatever. Monsters, Monsters University, University and yeah. Monsters Inc. Yeah. Because it was it's basically about monsters getting taught to go out and scare. Yeah. Cubans, but they were way coo- cooler. I think they were awesome. Ickis and Oblina mm. and Crumb and the Grumble. Oh, I loved them so much. But going to um, having like moms like pay for you and your friend to go watch a movie. Kai and I did that a lot with her mom. So her mom wanted to go watch like some comedy or something, and I wanted to see a horror movie. Kai doesn't like horror movies. She really doesn't. It's the only time I've been able to convince her to watch a horror movie with me. And that's only because I brought Devin along, too. So I can't remember what we watched, but um, I was sitting there. Devin and I were sitting there completely fine the entire... Oh, my gosh, it was the It movie. The first one? No, the second one. Chapter two? Uh Uh-huh. Okay. Um, We went to go watch the second one. The only part I got scared on was, like, the whole spider head thing. Y'all know what I'm talking about? Yes, we do. Yeah. That's the only part I got scared on because I have arachnophobia, so don't like spiders. How Kai, did you make it into my house? I almost cried. I saw the I saw the web and I almost cried. Have you not seen the spider? No, I didn't see the spider, but I saw the web and I almost cried. There's two of them. Oh my gosh! Dungeons and Dragons. Yep, they had a Dungeons and Dragons show. Oh, she I loves love that her, show. Too. I just didn't think it would be placed under that. I thought yeah. it would be more placed under like. Yeah. Fantasy, fantasy, oh, fantasy. We had giant yeah. dragons and eye of the beholders and, and all yep. that stuff so. being creepy, or scary enough for being sucked into another dimension. Right. I just keep going through these lists. Some of them are so old I've never seen them, <laughs> and from other countries. If you want some really old movies, ask mom. What? She watches a, a lot of really old movies. She does. Like, 50s. And some 30s and some 20s. Look, I found a picture of the upside down trash cans. Did you say 20s? Yeah, they're actual horror movies that date back to the 1920s. <coughs> no Sferatu. Okay. 1922. No, they during the Depression that were in the 1930s and then the 40s and 50s. So I think I may have mentioned it before, but Thanks. so when I was really little, I snuck in and I was watching this show, this movie, mm-hmm. and I had no idea what it was, but it terrified me, right? Like, so I couldn't sleep with like, I had to put something in my window so that I couldn't see shadows, through the curtains, or I had heavy enough curtains that you could not see shadows or mm-hmm. mini blinds or whatever. And it took me until this year to realize what movie that was. It was Salem's Lot. Oh, shit. (laughs) Where they come up outside the window? Yes. That was the scene that terrified me as a tiny child. Mm -hmm. That I had no idea even what the movie was. Yeah. Until um, not too long ago, I read the book. So then I was like, okay, well, I'm going to watch the old movie. And then it was like... It, it like saw it and it was like instant back to when I was about four years old and I was like oh, it's the scene but I have a question why does everyone say The Shining scary it's creepy it's not scary if you read the book it's a whole lot more in depth yes because um, everyone said the movie was like terrifying and like they couldn't sleep or anything I slept well, through the movie the, it's not like traditional scary it's more the psychological the I mean psychological you know aloneness of it I oh, yeah I could, you I, take, should, I could definitely you should totally, appreciate it you should totally room. read the book the book is way scary the book is way way more yeah considering in Friends Joey had to put it in a freezer <laughs> y'all remember that I no did. I don't watch Friends I never was a fan of Friends on, the, on that same note, she's just now starting Supernatural, so... I've never seen Supernatural either. You might want to pick up your jaw off the floor, kid. I don't want to talk to her anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Fine. Then you can just put my Chinese food that you had back in the fridge and go on. Hey, it's partially my parents, too, because they helped make it. 
Take it out of your stomach, put it back in the fridge. No. I can't, I can't take it out of my your stomach. Your dad your dad and I made the wontons, but yeah. me and I made the rest. So if if nobody remembers, um, are you afraid of the dark? Uh-huh. Had a very young Ryan Gosling in it. Yes. Yes, it did. Oh yeah. <laughs> Oh my God. So for I'm so all, them, all them women out there, they've been like, oh, Ryan Gosling. Yeah, go watch a load of Are You Afraid of the Dark? Yeah. Yeah. Look at the tween. Actually, they had a lot Ryan of Gosling. young stars that were in there. That's, yeah. Started out in the semi horror. Another one that we haven't talked about is Casper. Yeah. We haven't talked about that. I Casper. I know the house was awesome. Oh, mm-hmm. so bad. Are we talking I've live action or animated? Or, or Christina Ricci? No, Christina Ricci. Christina I wanted Ricci. to be her so Bill bad Pullman. and just be like, because. In love with a ghost? No. She wanted the house. Okay. No, I wanted you the house. You, you, she wanted to be in love with the, the kid that was dead. I did. <laughs> Shay, do you not remember the movie? Yeah. <laughs> How at the end, Casper turned into a real turned boy. Turned into a real oh, boy. Yeah. yeah. If you haven't seen Casper, there's issues. Yeah. I was like, it's not really it's spoilers. Kind of like a young Ryan Gosling. <laughs> uh, no, it was who played Casper. Hold on. Oh, Lord. I remember. I, I I see his face. Yeah. Um, I will say. Um, I think it was if you're Devin really Sala. into like DC and Marvel, a DC movie that you could watch to really get into that type of psychological horror would probably be the new Joker with Joaquin Phoenix. Yeah, that one's kind of out there. It's. I really love that movie just because of how they put in depth of the psychological view of it. But then again, I'm really into Yeah, it was Devin stuff. Sawa. He played... Devin Sawa? That's what's his name. He played the kid that Casper turned into. It was her crush. <laughs> oh, yes. I can't say much. I had a crush on Spider-Man. Still do. Jonathan Brandis? Oh, yeah. I had to think for guys that looked similar. <laughs> Jonathan Brandt. That name sounds familiar. He was in Sequest. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Very yeah. sad. Yes. Him and River Phoenix. Yep. Man. Yep. Oh, he was, he was, he was, uh, he was the young was gorgeous. Billy, wasn't he? Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. Yeah. Yep. But. We're going to do b- b- Billy Boy. Yeah. Oh. So, gateway Horror. Yes. So, any of y'all out there? Have any gateway horrors? Let us know. Tell us what got you into the horror genre. Yeah. What cartoon or early horror movies got you hooked? And books, games, books, games, any kind of media. Comic books. Comic books. Those are the comic books I would buy. I would always get in the scary ones. Right. Same. I wasn't getting Marvel and DC. I was like getting the Temple of Doom. You know. I was right. doing Dungeons and Dragons. I was not a comic book girl, so I didn't oh. really. I didn't. I thought like X-Men. ten my entire life. Mine were more like Marvel, Marvel and DC. Yeah. But some of them, like some of the Marvel and DC comics, did have really yeah. graphic things Dark, in it. Yeah. Definite. Well, I mean, Especially Marvel the Batman series. With a whole comic yeah. book series of zombies, Marvel. Yeah. Yeah. I think especially the Batman series is like if you watch like the really dark live actions. Because it really gets into like his past about it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, definitely gets really dark. I think at this point we just need to be done with origin stories because they're I think so. Every time they do a new Superman or Batman, it's how did they become them? I'm just glad know, they didn't. Okay, you've been around for 150 years. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm just glad they didn't do a backstory of Spider-Man again because there have been so many and they yep. all most of them have been like honestly kind of trash. Yeah, but uh, yeah, give us a shout out. Let us know what got you into horror. Um, we're still waiting on people to tell us what we should call our wheel thing, spinny thing. Which we now officially have we at now the have house. The, the official real one. Yes. Yes. We have Spin it. our spinny wheel. I love spinny wheel spinners. Well, once a month, we're going to just randomly pick some categories or have them have out there pick us some categories. It. And then we're going to spin it, and that's what our show is for that week. I will gladly spin that. Will you? I like hearing the noise. <laughs> <laughs> Not the fact of being on the show, but you're going to know. It's really the, the wheel is spins. Is it total ASMR for you? <laughs> yes. 
<laughs> hey, there's some weird ASMR out there. It's <laughs> so gross. so weird. So oh my not God. a fan. Yeah. Uh, don't forget anything about us, fearcentral.net. Find out where you can subscribe, how you can reach us, Listen contact to us, mutilated all that media. stuff. Um, we are currently in the progress of looking at getting some merch. Yes. So if there's any kind of merch you think you would like to have, let us know about that. I mean, if you like T-shirts or drinking cups or coffee mugs or Meet stickers or whatever. Get our you know, signatures. Be like, hey, your body. I would love to have a Fear Central coffee mug. Okay, we'll, we'll get you some coffee mugs. Right. As someone who um, loves merchandise, you should do hoodies. Oh, I should do hoodies. Because your closet is half hoodies. Dude, hoodies are so comfortable. <laughs> I think every time she comes up, she gets another one. I'm like, we're doing so I did, get, I did get another one. And then Frida steals them. So then I'm like, Char- he's like, he's like, Mom, I don't have a hoodie. I'm like, go, go get your hoodies. You know, just one at a time. She can have one at a time. It's fine. It she is steals the, them from her boyfriend. No, 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 no. It, is, it is the exact opposite with Curtis and I. I'm the one with all the hoodies, and they're mostly oversized, so he takes all of mine. You know, that's supposed to be the opposite. You're supposed to get a boyfriend to steal his clothes. Yeah, you're only he supposed to really... borrow the hoodie until the scent roar is out, and then you exchange it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. He doesn't really wear hoodies, so I steal his shirts <laughs> and his letterman. So, um, but yeah, give us, give us a shout out. Let us know what, what kind of merch you would like to see us start start doing and, and what, what got you into horror. Gateway? and Yeah. Or just whatever. I mean, if you just want to be like, yo, what's up? Let us know. Yeah. We, 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 because I know there's more of you out there than just, what was his name? Brian? Brian Scott. Bri- I Mr. remember you talking about I'm that. I'm sorry. Dude. I can't remember yeah. right off him what your sorry. full name was. Which I don't know if we've ever gotten back with him about that show he asked us about. Um, I, I haven't. I, I, I talked to him about that. Um, I need. I haven't had a chance to go back and find it and watch it, but I'm gonna go back and pull it up and see if I can find. Yeah. Because I think he said there was two seasons or something. something. Like that, so yeah. something short, you know, just kind of an in between show for yeah. now. Since so. I've, I but, love. Uh, but yeah, what? But what? No, it's coming up. What? But. October, October is yes, because it's right now we're in September, which is Halloween. This is our pre-Halloween, man. This is Halloween Eve. No, this is go. this is my quadruple Halloween. pre-Christmas. No, this is no, Halloween. No. September is Halloween Eve. September is Halloween. <laughs> uh huh. And then we hit Halloween, and then we have. I, I say doing the TikToks. I hate you with the board. Goes, no, you wait till Thanksgiving like normal people. <laughs> no, I don't do that. Um, I do. I do kind of skip decorating for Thanksgiving because it's boring. Yeah, I mean, it's like, well, I got some A-bills and a scarecrow. And, yeah. Oh. I don't know anybody who really decorates for Thanksgiving. Oh, I know lots Granny of people that do. No? I know lots of people that no. do, but I just kind of skip do over. Bunch of turkeys? Well, I have, a, I have a Christmas tree forest, which Paul added to this week. Oh, yeah? He, yes, oh. he brought me another tree. What? He has to oh add my to my forest. This is like the 15th tree. I need to tree. find a black tree. She has one. I have one. She has one. I know, but I need We're talking about I have them in all shapes, size, and colors. I need a black one You have one in yellow? She got like I have a, a pink. One and... And I have a blue. Yeah, but that's her. I'm talking about for And I house. have a black. I say go traditional. I have, have several traditional. traditional. And a white one. I say go with traditional. I love them all. I need a black one. Then well, we get to Christmas when Christmas gets here. Yeah. I need y'all a, can say that all y'all want. I need a black October. tree so I can order the Halloween ornaments and put them on the tree. And I will I say, keep it up. there are a lot of people that's yelling what my black at me one is, is for the nightmare listening Christmas. to Christmas music. And mm-hmm. Not before October. No, no, no. no, 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 no around Thanksgiving. Oh, Thanksgiving, yeah. Stores will be playing it before they were like. They were like... I need listen some. to some Thanksgiving and music. There's no Thanksgiving music. There's no Thanksgiving music. Thanksgiving music. I listen to Christmas music year round because that's yeah. what I usually listen freak. to to clean my house. Oh yeah, yeah, I do that too. She's like going jingle bells. I'm listening to it. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but a lot of people are like, wait till December, not around Thanksgiving. I was like, there's nope. no Thanksgiving song. No, you can listen to Christmas all you want after October. Yes. Yeah. Christmas. I'm starts, January. I'm still gonna. November first is when I start putting things up. Yeah. Halloween comes down immediately and Christmas goes right up. I'm and that's gonna, just how I am and I don't make no apologies for it. Don't need to. Nope. No. I'm still going to listen to Christmas so. music, whether you like it or not. So. All right. I love Christmas. So we hope you all have a great week. We are going to have a great week. 
And as always, stay scared.